so heavy. This is the 27th anniversary of Midwest yes, Motorcycles. Yes. What do you have going on here? So these are uh, custom bike builds. This year, we are now a manufacturer of motorcycles. So our brand of bike is Capone Street Rods. And so just like Iron Horse or Big Dog or even Harley Davidson, we're an actual company now. So we've got some really cool big wheel baggers, we've got some choppers, we've got some pro streets, and we got some bobbers. And those are kind of the four and five styles of bikes that we're doing right now. All right, very cool. I I was looking at all of your uh, trophies you got here, which are pretty cool. So can you tell me who makes these uh, trophies and what events do you have to earn these trophies? <laughs> Just to list a few. So uh, we make some of the trophies, but bunch of bike shops in Daytona all get together. One of the things about this event has been bringing together the other bike shops that are in the Daytona Beach area. So we had a ton of help from a ton of different shops building these trophies. There's literally six months of saving up broken parts on motorcycles that we're doing repairs on to collect all the parts to make the trophies. We build motorcycles and we wanted to make some handmade trophies with the same love and carrying that we build the bikes with and so we don't want any plastic trophies for our events people who come to our bike show to enter into the show we put a lot of time in their bikes as well and they should get that same respect it's actually a brand new style of motorcycle that we invented so the bobber has been a real popular build and so we've done a lot of bobbers but they're all with rigid frames with a 16 inch rear tire so we made this one a soft tail a little bit of a stretch and six inches up two inches over and a uh, Frisco style gas tank where it's kind of pushed up like that, but a 21 inch rear wheel. So it's kind of a board track racer style. So you can build a big wheel bag, or you can build a pro street, you can build a chopper, but kind of the name of the game in the industry is to build something that's kind of out of the box and not really being done anymore. And this bike literally was assembled in about five days at the shop. We sent everything out for powder coat, got it chrome, got it painted, and literally it took us five days to just put this thing back together. But when Capone, our builder, was telling me about what he was planning with this thing, I was scratching my head, not really sure that, but I trusted him enough to let him do it, and it really came out cool. So really happy with how this one came out. But this is really kind of a new style, uh, hopefully that will take off and there'll be other guys building bikes like this. What's this, like, what's the defining factor of making it this style bike? What's the style again? Well, it's a new style, so it's never really been done. So the board track racers of the 20s were the ones that had the two larger tires. So a lot of guys are using a 23-inch front wheel on a bobber-style bike, but this one's using a 23 on the rear and a 23 on the front. We've already kind of overdone the whole story of the big wide tire in the right. back, and they don't handle very well. Yeah. So this bike handles actually pretty cool with these tires on it. It's got a cool custom look to it, but it's got a soft tail suspension, so it's not really rough on your back. Uh, it's got a kind of a stretched out look to it, so it's not real compact like a bobber. It's just kind of a new style, and this hasn't really been done before, so I think we're the first that I know of to build something like this. I love this bike. I mean, this is, like, I love the colors on this. I love the style of it. It's amazing. Like, this is really cool, I, I have to say. And you said that, like, the other, uh, just a little while ago, that this frame was actually orange yesterday, and now it's this pretty aqua color. You guys did it really quick. So it had to be cut and chopped and stretched and all kinds of stuff. We started with an existing frame and then just kind of did a bunch of work. Normally you would have struts that go up for the rear fender that had to be cut off. The fender is mounted to the swing arm, so 